Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to another pre-market post scan. Today is Monday, March the 20th, 2017, and the time is about two minutes before 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm hoping everybody had a great weekend and that you're ready to get back to work. Because that's exactly what it is. It is time to get back to work. Back to the business of trading. Back to the business of making profits in these markets. All right, so taking a look at the overnight market, first of all, first and foremost, let's get that out the way. Right now, bonds are unchanged. They're setting it unchanged. Nothing has happened. It's just chilling. The Dow is down 17 points. NASDAQ down two and three quarter points. S&P down four and three quarter points. Nikkei up 20. Oil is down about 82 and a half cents at 48, 47 and a half. Um, looking at gold, gold is up almost two bucks at 1232.10. It went as high as 1235.50 and as low as 1228.80. Silver is up 17 cents at 17.43. And we got as high as 17.47.5 and 17.37.5 low. Nat gas still can't break $3. It hit as high as 296 overnight. Right now we're at 296 still. Uh, the low was 290. So it's kind of chilling right now, too. So not too much going on right now. The question is going to be what's going to happen with this this opening bell. What's going to happen once that final bell rings? What are we going to see? Well, let's take a look here at some notables as far as on our from a weekly standpoint on our weekly charts here. Look at our pulse wave price trigger. So those of you who are following along, pull out your weekly uh, tab, your weekly tab here. And let's go through some notables. First of all, let's look for the good news before we look for the bad news. We'll look at the rally alerts first. All right, the gold futures has a rally alert on it. It should be noted that the price is already triggered and broken out. All right, and... So that's already playing out. Copper has a nice rally alert in it. So does wheat futures, lumber, live cattle, palladium, soybeans, silver futures, bond futures, uh, corn, soybeans. Pretty much across the board on the commodity landscape, we got rally alerts. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out today. Let's see uh, any other notables we have here worth talking about. Ah, I see we have a few rally alerts in some of the mining sectors here. Even some of the um, the cannabis stocks have rally alerts in them. I see that. So this is going to be interesting. Let's see what else we got. Looks like Bitcoin has a rally alert. Can it muster up enough strength to stop dropping? We'll see. Uh, let's see what else we got of note. Anything that sticks out. Oh, good old dry ships <laughs> has a rally alert. Let's see if it can close above two bucks this week. That'll be interesting to see. Uh, let's see what else we got on here. It looks interesting. Uh, got quite a bit here. Looks like we have one in the British pound. So in Forex, we have a rally alert. That's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. And again, this is on the weekly. Uh, JNUG has a rally alert on the weekly. Very interesting. So, let's see. Surely, GDXJ should have one here. Yes, it does. Both GDX and GDXJ have rally alerts, so that bodes well for the for that space. One that is interesting is Hack. Haven't talked about Hack in a while. Hack has a rally alert on it. And it's been creeping higher. It's now locked into that bullish position. And that's kind of alarming. You don't really want to see that happening. And it should also be noted that Hack has... There's been some news out 
<clears throat> excuse me, not about the ticker in particular, <clears throat> but as far as cyber attacks. I saw an article about a big um, uh, hack, cell phone hack, in the Washington, D.C. area. Um, so there's an uptick in cyber attacks that's been going on. So that ticker is rising, and that's not a good thing. If that ticker is rising, that means demand for such things is rising as well. And you know what happens when demand gets to a certain point? The government responds. And that means more lockdown, more controls, more loss of liberty, etc., etc. So, green on the screen in your pocket, but on the back end of that, tighter government controls. All right, let's see what else we've got of note. Got quite a few. So basically the gold and silver space. We got the mining space. So we'll have to look and see if this is going to happen. This is good. Um, let's move on over now to our daily. This is what we like to really play around as the in play. So we're going to go to our in play tab now. Let's see what we got here. All right. Got a, got a handful of rally alerts. Let's see, we got uh, Nat Gas, so that's a good one. The question is, can it get, can it break out from that $3? Can we get a, a strong close above $3 on the Nat Gas? I don't know. It's looking like it may even roll over. That downtrend is still locked in from a momentum side. Can't, can't ignore that. So I'm going to be watching that one closely. And we have some rally alerts on the inverse side of things. Looking at uh, drip, drip has a rally alert. So we got drip, but then we also got dust, which is interesting. Dust has a rally alert. And so does DGLD. Very interesting for these two to have rally alerts. Now it should be noted that the market is far removed from us on these. So perhaps it's saying that we are in the process of topping out. And then these are about to get triggered. That would be interesting. Because I also see JDST with the rally alert. The only problem is in the JDST is that the market is not far removed. So this is really interesting to see how this is going to play out this week. Especially today because we're looking on the daily tab. So this is for today's trading. Uh, also ZSL should should be paid attention to. Uh, Mark is still kind of far removed on that one. But even still, are we witnessing a topping pattern or... Is there something else that is afoot here? Um, let's look at these crash alerts. Maybe that will help shed some light. We just finished the rally alerts. There are far more crash alerts today than there are rally alerts on our daily sheet. By far. I want to say like almost three times as much. Uh, let's see. The euro has a, um, has a crash alert on it. Some of the mines, mining shares do. The energy sector has it. Um, I'm looking at, for instance, like NextGen has a crash alert. So does the copper futures. Hecla Mining, I Am Gold, First Majestic, <coughs> Silver Standard. There's a lot of these that have crash alerts. Even Uranium, the um, Global X Uranium ETF also has a crash alert so these are going to be interesting I don't think that some of these are going to be triggered I think that the beginning process that's why I asked that question in the beginning is are we starting to see some topping formations in some of these because that's what that's what it, it would suggest 
also like the um, ticker symbol SIL. It has a crash alert. So does OIH. So it, it's basically calling for possible pullbacks this week in the gold and silver space as well as the mining sector. I have not seen anything for the stock market yet, which is really interesting because people are still calling for the pullback in those sectors. And so far, I have not seen the manifestation of such. All right, now, for instance, we do have a crash alert in the TQQQ. I do see that. I do see one in UWM, Facebook, Apple, Netflix, Tesla. All of these have crash alerts calling for pullbacks. Well, it's Fargo. It's going to be in your financial sector, your banking. Uh, let's see. I see some in the tech sector. Wix, Yahoo. On the daily, Dry Ships has a crash alert warning of a possible pullback. So these are all interesting. And Deutsche Bank. <laughs> Not surprised there on that one. So we, we have some interesting formations setting up here. And I just... I guess we're going to have to wait and see what this opening bell is going to look like today because as of right now, I don't really see anything too, you know, definite. Except for, this is interesting, the QQQ doesn't have any crash alerts or rally alerts. It's just showing that it's still locked in to its, uh, into the bull trend. So this one is very interesting, to say the least. So the only question I have is, like I said, where are we going to go from here? Um, according to the system, just looking at the QQQ, we'll basically be, be buying all pullbacks. That's what we're doing today. We're buying the pullback today. So this is interesting. Um... I guess I, we just have to trade what we see. All right. So with that being said, it's going to be interesting. Get your tickets ready. That's the only thing you, I can I can suggest is just be ready. Uh, if you be ready and stay ready, then you don't have to get ready. And when things start moving one way or the other, you're already in there. So just choose some a, a couple. Choose wisely. Put your tickets in ahead of the market and sit back and let's see what happens. So with that said, remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can and give nothing back. Trading room, hang on, because we're about to go shopping.